I'm Did I like sure go in uh, circles or something? In the one of the movies, the one of the movie specials that features Zoroark, um, its previous evolution that was technically its child. Zoroa, and it was only talking to Zoroark. That's implied that only Zoroark could understand it because it's the same species. We never saw it actually speaking to any of the human characters. It done in the anime though. I'm 99% sure that it was only speaking to Zoroark and not any of the human characters. <sighs> Are you sure you're not thinking of the movie? Because that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I did am, the maximum pub wear off I'm or something? I'm thinking of the movie because the fucking movie... Because the movie you're thinking of is the one where they fucking use Zoroark and they use its illusions to make it make everybody think it was an evil Pokemon and it made it look like the three legendary dogs were going through town blowing shit up. It was able... It was uh, Zoro was using telepathy to the trainers because they were able to hear him talk. I am highly doubtful of this. Also, it has been a while since I've seen this fucking movie, so maybe it did, but I'm 99% sure that it was only speaking to Zoroark. Oh, um, uh, Kizu Chow is asking a question for us. Favorite Pokemon movie? Um, uh, you go ahead, Solar. Let me fucking. I need to think this one a bit. Yeah, no, cause like, I, I, I'm in between two, but I'm trying to remember if they're the same fucking movie or not. If you tell me, I might confirm it to you, because I've seen practically all of them. Wait a second! I could've just accessed it that way? Oh my god. <laughs> you fiend. <laughs> Whoops! Okay, whoever designed this fucking tunnel and made this- You are a goddamn troll. And you should get your dick slapped. Get your <laughs> dick slapped. Um. Oh, oh fuck actually. you, DB. Way to fucking leave me in the dark. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I have actually a tiebreaker between two particular movies. Is one of them Pokemon uh, 2000? No, actually. Wow, you're a fucking heretic. <laughs> hey, I love the movie. Don't get me wrong, but it's not in my top two. It's not in my two favorites. Um, because Pokemon Two Thousand is one of mine, but I and there's oh, yeah. the other fucking one that had fucking Entei in it. I can't remember the name for the. Oh, oh yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon 3, Three, the movie. Yeah, Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon Three, Pokemon the 3. movie. Yeah, that that one that one was good because it brought Charizard back, and Charizard he got big dick energy in that movie. So. Oh, the whole yeah, movie like was just insane. That. Like, the, like I love that scene right? where Misty was in that Pokemon battle, and they were underwater and they were talking. It's like, goddamn. Oh yeah, no, it was trippy as fuck. It yeah, no, trippy. like trippy in a good way. Like this is something that a child oh, would go fucking ballistic of. Oh yeah, no, it was it was fantastic. Okay, the two that are tiebreakers for me is the first one is Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Oh, and Pokemon Heroes. That's the one with Latios and Latios, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah, Nickel, yeah, whenever you have the chance, go check out Pokemon Three, the movie. Yeah, it's definitely go give that one a watch if you have a hard time figuring out what. It's I, I'm 99 percent sure there's a fucking pirate of it up somewhere. So. Oh yeah, no. You, you have literally no excuse. <laughs> yeah. If I remember what its official like full title was, because I know they always have like an additional subtitle to go with the actual movie. If God I right, it damn was piece of Inche shit. And the mystery and, and the mystery of the unknown. Some shit like that. Something like that. I know it involved. It had unknown in the name. But I don't remember 100%. But yeah, that one was a very interesting anime. I really did love how the graphics were in that in that one in particular. But do, do, like, do, yeah, do, 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 Lucario do, do, and the Mystery do, 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 of Mew do, 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 and Pokemon Heroes are you fucking were like serious? Our immediate tie with each other on my top tier. <sighs> Both really great movies. Both left me with so many tears and both highlight two of some of my most favorite Pokemon. I have seen Pokemon Rangers, DB. It's not really that good, honestly. Oh. Lucario and the Mystery of Mew was just really, really sad. It left me crying. I was crying nonstop. I was like, God dang it. The heart string is being no, it's not being tugged. It's being ripped. <laughs> it, it, 
it's it's you, they also uh, gave chocolate to uh, the. I've made it dog, to the Indigo so. Plateau. I am. You're not supposed to give chocolate to dogs, but you know what? <laughs> they gave chocolate to the Aura dog, and guess what? He fucking died. Anyway, that's why you um... don't give chocolate to dogs. Yeah. Oh. So, um, I finally made it to the Indigo Plateau area. I am not going to the Elite Four just yet. I am far from ready. Yeah, you just yeah. go up to the counter before that, and you buy, like, 50 fucking full restores, and, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, I actually did that in Pokemon Ru- Oh, that's what I did, because I got the fucking amulet coin, and I just fucking farmed all the fucking- I farmed every trainer I got, and just got double the money for it. Oh, yeah. No, that's the thing. Um, uh, let's see. From experience, and this may sound salty- I actually used to try doing that when confronting with Jesus Christ. Is max potions all they fucking have? Max potions <laughs> are pretty good. Oh, I. Oh, yeah. wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Not five full restores. Good lord. Yeah, not five full restores. I need fifty. No, because okay, so to try to give the best explanation. So in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, there was a particular feature. Where, if you have, like connected your Game Boy to somebody else and you actually did a Pokemon battle, some historical information is exchanged, and you notice it when you uh, watch one of the TVs and they talk about the records. Yeah, um, most of the time, whenever I had a po uh, Pokemon battle with my brother, I kid you not, uh, the information he read out loud, apparently one of which included... Uh, me struggling to take on the Indigo Plateau, and another of which, I was humiliated for buying too many potions. Uh, ouch! Yeah. I briefly talked about that in a journal that I typed on uh, DeviantArt, and it's one of the reasons why I don't go to the Mart all the time. So, I was under the impression that apparently, buying too much of something is a crime. Or it's too much, or it's a problem. Or it just makes you look... I, I don't... I honestly don't know how else to, like, put it. It... Wow. Yeah, no, I, it didn't sit well with me. So, this kind of, like, draws back to when somebody uh, said in a comment on YouTube saying, you need to go to the bar and get more of this and more of that. It's like, I'm a little insecure getting that now. Welcome to the Pokemon League. How tough are ya? Really? You're asking that? How question? tough am I? I beat the Elite Four with only with my starter. Yeah, so, and nobody else. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that depends on which starter you have, because some of them are actually really good to have. I had Sceptile. To take on. You had Sceptile? Yeah. Yes, I had Sceptile. That is definitely. Actually, yeah. I should get five more. Because guess what? You know what Sceptile had to deal with? He had to deal with Dark. And then Ice. <laughs> and, yep. and then Dragon. And then Steel. And then also Ghost. Ghost was in there at some point too. Oh, there's four yep, revives. I that. Damn. I remember that in the game. And then he had to deal with Steven, who resisted literally everything. Because steel types. <laughs> because unfortunately, as great as Sceptile is, he cannot learn any fire type moves Let's except for see. Sunny Day, and Sunny Day does fuck all. Sunny Day. Yeah, yeah Sunny it Day makes it, it makes the sunlight bright for five turns, which boosts fire type moves, which is awesome. Except for it's not because Sceptile can't learn any fire type moves except Sunny Day. Oh. Another thing about Sunny Day about another thing about Sunny Day that also is helpful for Grass type Pokemon. It's a guarantee to use Solar Beam right in the first round. That is the one benefit of using Sunny Day, but you're already using yeah. two turns in order to use that move, so. You know what? Yeah. I mean, um, subsequent subsequent turns, sure, you can fucking blast it out all day, but if I'm gonna yeah. save, and I'm gonna but go. But it's already and two turns, and that kind of defeats the purpose. The only real reason that you would use it is if you were in a double battle and you had a fire type as your partner. Yep. 
Or if you had a Pokemon that had Chlorophyll. That's another one. True. Because Chlorophyll just fucking, it like boosts your speed by like two stages because Chlorophyll's dumb. <laughs> Indeed. Alternatively, you could just use Groudon and then he would give you free sunny day. That's actually true, yeah, now that I remember right, that's part of his ability, yeah. That's literally his ability. His ability oh. is just, hey, fuck you, it's bright now. Oh. Yep. And then when he gets into his primal form, it's like, hey, fuck you. It's super bright now. In fact, it's so bright that water type attacks literally diminish in front of me. They evaporate. They turn yeah, into nothing yeah, but steam. Guess what? The one thing that fucking primal Groudon is weak to. That's right. He's quad weak to water. Oh, wait. Water doesn't exist around him. Not when he's in his primal form. Nope. So that means yeah, the only way that. that you can actually damage him is using ground. Except, oh wait, he He's is ground. ground. Oh wait, he also has monstrous defense. No joke. <laughs> I think it's like a freaking tank. If you, if you <laughs> throw Primal Groudon out onto the field, the only way to fucking take it out is to stall it with Toxic. That's pretty much the only fucking thing you can do. You, you got a toxic yep. stall or bust. Other than that, he is almost guaranteed to take out your Pokemon before you can wear him down. Almost exactly. guaranteed. Well, that didn't do shit. <laughs> uh, even I had to agree when I was trying to catch that Pokemon. I was like, God dang, why are you so hard? Will you just go inside the freaking Ultra Ball? I really should have spent the time to teach these Pokemon different moves that are outside of the realms of their, you know, origin types. That's one of the things I It's always a good finish. idea to have, yeah. Yeah, have like, at least one move that isn't your Pokemon's base Yeah, type. like for fire type, teach them electric so it can defend itself against water types. Yep. Because yep. a lot of fire types are special attackers, and a lot of electric attacks are special. Actually, that does oh, remind yeah. me. Let me look at Charizard for a second. Stats. I'm 99% sure that Charizard's a special attacker, unless it goes... Unless it mega evolves into X, in which case it becomes a physical attacker. All right, so yeah, I have it fly. Gets long, which so is I have just literally, so, so I literally thirty percent harder hitting. So I have fly, flamethrower, strength, and slash. I could replace slash with something else, like something thunder related. Yeah, Electric. if you can get thunderbolt or thunder, then by all means. Yeah, and you oh, know yeah, that would be a like that would be a very good idea. I definitely recommend that just in case. This I mean, is like one of the things I make sure I do for all of my Pokemon. Especially since I got some of them that would have a very bad advantage against certain Pokemon. Like, for example, my Incineroar. He is a freaking fire dark. Let's see what all these what are. are let's see. That, what Pokemon can take on this Pokemon? Oh. No, I don't need types. Dream Eater. Water Mega types, kick. Fairy types. Freaking. Um, Ground types, yeah. yeah. Fighting types. Uh, also fighting types, yeah. You would have a hard time trying to avoid getting killed with that Pokemon alone. That's why I made sure I taught him an attack that could easily also take on any Pokemon that could easily kill him. Oh, that does remind me. I should teach... <laughs> Not my Sceptile, though. I should teach Pikachu like that a fighting type so that way it can face Rock. Is... Oh, yeah, that's right. I memed you. on Jessie because I killed her Incineroar with a grass type. Ha! The thing is, okay, the reason why is because your Pokemon had more stats than me, so that was considered the only- What do you- what do you mean, had more stats than you? We- we were set to the same level. I don't want to hear it. Not stat-wise. HP- okay. Level-wise, yes. Stat-wise, they don't change. Yes, they fucking do! <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be no point setting them back to the same level! <laughs> the Saying, oh yes, the stats don't change when you fucking level them down to 50. Yes, they fucking do. That's the point of leveling them down to 50. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a point to having that as an option. It would just be send them out as their own levels. In which case, yeah, I still would have won because uh, mine's level 100. Yeah. And yours is like, what, 50, 45, around that area? It was, a it was at first. Oh, I, Cousin I Chow, that. joke's on you. Solar's already been to dance. Yeah, exactly. Eat yeah. my ass. Already been there. 
What should uh, I name this Gibble? Gibble? He is going to become a guard chump. What should I name him? Oh, hang on, give me a minute. Let me think. Uh, I, I need to get. I like to get creative with names. <laughs> oh, and a desert samurai. I ha I am very familiar with hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh Season Zero. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Season Zero. There Hi. Was an actual in Yu-Gi-Oh, there was an actual season before. Uh, called season zero it was considered like their pilot episodes it was extremely dark in comparison to its original uh, what it oh. is now really dark like freaking yugi had a freaking gun <laughs> i don't know why that yugi, makes me laugh yugi flipping moto had a mother flipping gun in the season zero and he was <laughs> yeah. not hesitating to kill okay question what does guard spec do guard, guard spec, spec? Oh, yeah fuck. i i'm trying to remember it isn't that one of the fucking that's one of the items yes that's one of the items okay guard spec, I, I think um... what it does is it prevents your stats from being lowered huh let me yeah. see yeah okay let me see Alright. Guard what? spec. Bulbapedia. Is a type of battle introduced... Okay, temporarily prevents stat reduction. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um... Okay, time to So look. basically, if somebody... Fuck it, if you use that in a battle for five turns, if somebody tries to say... To lower your defense, or growl to lower your attack, or any shit like that, it just doesn't work. Alright. Okay, um... Solar, you're a uh, gibbet. You could what? deny this if you want. You could name him uh, Bruce. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's see where. Name's like... Bruce. There we go. They... <laughs> All right. Well, it's better so... than what uh, Wheel of Steel was suggesting. Wheel of Steel was suggesting you named him Twink. Why would I name him fucking Twink? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so That's why I think made more sense I'm sorry, does Garch is fucking gay to you? <laughs> Ooh, Thunderbolt, yes. Thunderbolt, I'm gonna pull that out, and I'm gonna fucking teach that to fucking Charizard. The gayest oh, yeah, Pokemon yes, around. The gayest Pokemon <laughs> around is ho oh, because it literally spreads rainbows wherever the fuck it goes. That's, <laughs> that's literally the rainbow Pokemon. It's literally a rainbow bird. It's hella gay. <laughs> what?! Oh, fuck. What? 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 Fire what did Brand you do? Charizard can't learn Thunderbolt. Unfortunate. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Mm -hmm. there be, there be. There be A flying there. type with lightning? How the fuck? This guy's gonna lose his shit when he finds out about Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. He's also gonna lose his shit when he finds out about Articuno, who's Ice type, which because flying, flying types, types are, are weak to electric. He's... Well, sorry that I wanted to teach a move that could fight against another type that would be weak against. I mean, in theory, he should be able to learn fucking Thunderbolt. Weak. So, you know what? Flying types are also weak against Ice types, and we have Articuno, who's oh wait, a freaking bird. Also, uh, flying and rock type, and then we have Archops. <laughs> and Aerodactyl. Exactly. All right, TM45. Let's see what that is. <laughs> People so seem to forget that fucking TM19 is... does not mean they cannot exist in the same fucking Pokemon. Like, for Christ's sake, we have a fire and water type. Like... Okay, Seismic Toss is a pretty cool move. It is. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. I know that, um, is it a fighting type or a normal type? Seismic Toss, I believe, is a fighting type move. Yeah, Seismic Toss is a fighting type attack. You know what? I might teach that to... Actually, hang on. Do, 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 do. Alright, Seismic Toss. Just okay, so Pikachu is able to learn that, so... Ooh. Seismic Toss inflicts damage equal to the user's level. This would actually be a yes. good move for, you know, Pikachu to face against any rock type. Good idea. Oh. <laughs> you want to know something funny, though? 
What? what? Seismic Toss in Generation 1 uh, is a fighting type move that can hit ghost types. Oh, okay. That's that's really <laughs> dumb. Slam, get the fuck out. You keep I'm gonna missing. punch ghosts. <laughs> it's a whole new term yeah, for well, Ghostbuster. How does that work? Fighting type types are supposed to work again. <laughs> Neither are normal types. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we have a fighting and ghost Pokemon. So don't don't forget that. Classic. Because Marshadow. All right. No, I don't need to access that. Access my PC. Now, let's withdraw. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's see. TM11. 40, what is 45? Let me scroll down just a bit. And that is Thunder Wave. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. TM7. That's Horn Drill. No thanks. There's Horn Counter for... T KO, but it also has a notoriously high miss chance. Yeah. Depending on your level yeah, in comparison, it, depending on your level in comparison to who you're attacking. Okay, so TM37 is Egg Bomb. I have no idea what that is. TM2 egg is... Egg Bomb is a normal type move, I believe. All right, and there's Razor Wind. That's a pretty good flying type move, honestly. Hmm. All right. Yeah. TM9... You could probably teach that to Charizard. I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's see. TM9 is Takedown. TM Takedown does recoil damage, and as of right now, there's no way to negate that, so... Okay. I mean, it's powerful, but it also does recoil damage, so keep that in mind. Alright, so... It's also a normal-type move, so if you use it on a rock-type, they're gonna laugh at you. I can't teach Scythe Wave to any of my Pokémon, so fuck. You don't have any Psychic types. Yeah, I don't have any. Unfortunate. TM40, Skull Bash. Okay. Right. Skull Bash, uh... Does that have a chance to paralyze? I don't remember. Oh. Probably not. TM27 uh, is Fisher. Golden? Yeah. Gold. I hate to I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Charizard can't learn any electric attacks. Yeah, I already found out about that because it's also part flying. That's not necessarily true because it's part flying. It's just it just so happens that it can't learn any electric type moves. Yeah. Because again, thing. Zapdos exists. Exactly. Also, uh, Thunderous exists, but we don't talk about Thunderous. He's a lesser Zapdos, unless she's in theory and form, in which case he's only, <laughs> in which case he's only mildly equal to Zapdos. Yeah. 